Hey guys, so I was at my uncle's the other day who also happens to be a horrible hoarder and I found a couple of cool old pieces like this old wooden brass level and this cool hammer. I also found this steel Easter bunny mold used to make chocolate Easter bunnies dating back from the early 1900s. Now I don't know anything about rust removal but today we're going to try to restore this piece and see what happens. First, let's open this up and see what we find. It's pretty dusty. You can see from the dirt here that it has been sitting in a hoarder's home for many years. It opens into three pieces, which is neat. I don't have any information on the history of this piece other than it was probably used around Easter time. Next, I'm gonna soak my bunny mold in a vinegar bath for about three hours. Now, a lot of people online will say anywhere between 10 minutes and 18 months is fine. Well, three hours passed and nothing happened. Let's rub this down with some tin foil and really clean it up. Now let's throw this in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Now that's what I call chock full of fun. But let's not stop there. I want to explore some new mold making techniques using silicone rubber. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take your So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your master and cover it in clay up to the parting line. You're going to want to use a soft clay. I used a very hard clay, which adds about an afternoon to total project time. Trim the excess so that it sits snugly in the silicone box. After smoothing the clay and covering any pockets, we're good to go. Next we will mix our two-part silicone rubber. Careful, you're going to want to get this right the first time. With a pot life of 30 minutes and at $33 per box, there's no room for any mistakes. <coughs> well, Blick sold me some bad silicone mold. So instead, I'm going to use this. 
The key to a good mold for chocolate is a large fill port and some well-placed drainage vents. Don't forget to clean up after yourself. And voila! And that's it everybody. Thanks for watching and happy Easter.